family, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're just joining us now, welcome! Today's video, I'm going to be doing a new Cupshay haul. I absolutely love Cupshay. I've shopped at Cupshay? Cupshay? I've shopped at Cupshay for absolutely years. It's my go-to for swimwear. I find they have some amazing things that suit my body type that I really like. And I did a haul not long ago. You guys absolutely loved them, so I thought we would do another one. I love so Beautiful. Hey guys, so the first bikini I've got on. Now, usually I'm not a bikini type of girl. I'm usually more of a bather type of girl. I do get bikinis every now and again when I see one I like, but usually I go for a bather. The colours on this one were too gorgeous to not grab. And then I was like, we'll see what it looks like on because they can be temperamental. Like sometimes I can really love one, sometimes I can hate one. And I feel like I love this one. So this is the back. Now it's quite hard to do up at the back. I had to get Sean to give us a hand. Crisscrossy and it gives you kind of a back pattern, which I like. And there's not too much back on display. And then the knickers just go right up like this. So as you can see, the high waisted, I think is gorgeous. It's like a floral with a bit of orange and then the top's just like all orange. <gasps> Isn't it lush? So this is how it sits on me. I absolutely love the way that it looks. It's got good support, but we need to do the Bay Watch test. We might need to use the blur feature if the Bay Watch test fails. If it doesn't fail, we're all good. There's a shark! <laughs> yeah, we're still in, okay. <laughs> We're still in. Wow. Okay, so this one is supportive. However, it doesn't have any underwire, um, but it does have padding. So the bra is padded, but there's no underwire, but I don't feel you need it. To be fair, I tend to get a lot of bras that don't even have underwire nowadays because I feel like a bra with underwire and padding on a big chest just accentuates just too much. But I love this. I think this is super, super cute. I love the colouring. I think it's beautiful. I think it's got a gorgeous cut. So it shows you off where you want it to. And this. And this is a beach over throw. But look at the pattern. The pattern and the colours on this are beautiful. So it's like red, pink. And then it has like blue leaves on it. Kind of peacock cock vibes. I'm going to try it on. Because I really like a beach over throw when I go to the beach. Oh! wow this is cute then what i like is it's got the slits at the side so if you wanted to tie it and go about your day but it was just a bit more of like a little cover up for you you could isn't that cute obviously it clashes with the bottoms a bit but who said you can't do pattern on pattern you could do a little bow how do you do a bow again bow clearly but this is cute this is actually so adorable i love the pattern of it and then when you do let it down it's quite long as well so if I was to button it up, it would like cover more or less everything. But it's like a beach. I really love the pattern. I like the way that it sits. Um, you could even wear this as an actual shirt with some nice like trousers for an evening or something like that. Then also seeing Cup Shea do flip flops, like sandals. And I love, love, love these ones because they're leopard print. And if you know me, I'm a sucker for leopard print. I've been wearing these around the house a lot. They're so comfy um, and I just really like them. They're just your basic flip-flop, but they've just got like the rubber plasticky bit on the top, but then they do have a gorgeous leopard print base. Cute! Okay guys, so this is the next one. This is gorgeous. It's got a really tropical print. Matches my office at the bottom, which I really like with some like little pink flowers. I think this is gorgeous and I love the way this sits on my boobs. I think it's super flattering. Like this is so cute the way, because it, it like crosses over and then at the back you tie it with like a little tie it's got quite a thick strap which i like it's padded but it isn't underwired but it is gorgeous like i can totally imagine myself walking down the beach in this and like just feeling glam you know feeling great but of course we'll have to do the test the bay watch test three two one <laughs> Imagine if someone done that prank on you, on you where they like had give you an invisible bikini and you went in the beach and it just disappeared. That 
would be like quite traumatizing i feel like that's quite a cruel joke i get that it's funny but i feel like it's quite cruel i don't care i love it i don't care i love it when you're ready come and get it ha oh, na 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 guys this one is gorgeous this one holds me in all the places it needs to now this one is padded and underwired and i feel like it really gives us good support lifts us up it just looks beautiful so it has like a black and white kind of perimeter at the top and then it's kind of got oranges on it which I think is super adorable and this is what it looks like at the back just very basic very plain but I love her she is so cute shock okay I didn't run fast enough there three two one shock okay you can see it's coming because you can see the fun 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 but I look good coming like I look good so let's try weave. Oh! Okay, we'll pass. Okay, that's good. Sexy. Standing here in a bather, dreaming about being on a beach, and my reality is I'm looking out my window and it's absolutely pouring down. <sighs> I think it's a hint. I need to go to a spa, or I need to get away and go to the beach and feel the sun and feel hot and sweaty i don't even like the sun but i just want to feel it and then i want to hide under the umbrella for the rest of the afternoon i just wanted to use this youtube video as well though guys to actually just have a bit of a chat with you because on my instagram um, and on youtube when people come across whole videos and stuff like that i get comments from people saying all of the time like i feel really down um because you're so confident with the way that you look and i feel like i'll never be like that and can I just like, I wanted to make it clear that I don't want anyone to ever look at my content and my videos and feel shit that they're not confident with themselves. Because the reality is, is I'm not always. I get up days and I feel like rubbish sometimes and I feel, you know, really down sometimes about the way I look. And I think to constantly have body confidence is something that's huge. And I don't think anybody's constantly got it. I feel like we all have days where we're feeling secure, days where we don't feel great about ourselves and I think that's normal as a human but then I have days where I feel amazing and I love every part of us and I want to dance down the street naked and I feel like you know yes I have them days and I think the people who message us are referring to themselves and saying that they don't even have them days they never feel good about themselves they hide away and always feel rubbish but the way I say it is you get one life and we can sit here and we can worry about the way that we look. We can think, you know, I'm plus size, I'm bigger than all my friends, I don't look the way I used to, I've put on loads of weight. And, you know, can make people feel down because today's society has this image of perfection. But that's not the reality for people and that perfection is fake. It's fake on social media, it's fake in mainstream media and it's just important that we realise that because for years and years and years when I was growing up I felt awful because I didn't look the way the mainstream media did and I didn't look the way that everybody I was seeing online did but then I actually come to the realization how many people do I meet on a day-to-day -day basis that look like that and don't have insecurities and, and feel absolutely fine with themselves and I, and I didn't meet people like that all people in my life that I grew up with was people who felt shit about themselves saying they looked horrible and I think that's how we feel so down because the way that we're brought up and grow up is if you give yourself a little bit of credit, if you say that you think you look pretty, if you say that you think you look good in an outfit, it's kind of bit like taken back. Oh, you think you look good? Well, yeah, Barbara, I do think I look good because I do look good. And I feel like that's quite, a, like people all of the time say, oh my God, like you think you look good. And I've had it so many times because obviously I'm quite out there with my body confidence and stuff like that. But it's like, yeah, I do. I actually do think I look good. And to say that, I feel like it's quite thrown upon. Anyway, going back to my original point, I don't always have confidence. Last week was a terrible week for me. I didn't have any confidence, no motivation. I just had a really shit week in general. Um, and I just want people to know that my reality isn't waking up every morning, jumping out of bed and loving me, tits me off and everything about it, because I don't. And for years and years and years, I've hated my boobs. I've always wanted a boob job. But actually, now that I'm so much more confident with myself, I don't love them. They're probably the thing that would go first if I was gonna change anything about my body. But 
in reality I don't know if I hate them enough to actually want to change them but yeah I just thought it was important on this video because I know I do post about a lot of body positive and I've been and I've been quite upbeat and hyper in this video because obviously I'm having a really good day but I think it's important that you guys remember that I'm having a really good day the day that this actually gets uploaded I might not be having a good day and you know that's normal um I feel that too and you're not alone in them feelings we got personal we got deep my coffee's probably cold my coffee is freezing but I just wanted to come on and have a little chat with you before we end this video because I didn't want to leave it on a, a proper high upbeat note and I didn't want people to feel shit leaving this video anyway I'm gonna go now I'm not sure what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna head off and I'll see you very shortly for another video hopefully if you've got any video suggestions don't forget to leave them in the comments below and I'll see you again soon bye <laughs> A million people in the crowd